we are going to build the best Gundam stand. There is so much going on in this space lockyard stand and it has a lot of articulation. Every angle is superb and details on it. So once you get a Mechanic for Kit uh, Thief Stormer Expedition Premium version, you will get a premium bonus of a Space Dockyard Oriented Model Stand. And I will show you tips and tricks on how to build this articulated Space Dockyard. First work that we're going to do is on how to put the water decal. But this is not an ordinary water decal, this is a clear film type. So the first step is to mix water and dish soap together. Second, cut out the decal. Three, soak the decal in the water for one minute. Four, clean the surface of the object. Five, put the water decal on the surface object and remove the base sheet. Six, use a soft scraper to squeeze the excessive water decal away. Seven, wipe the surface of a soft cloth. 8. Dry up to 24 hours. 9. Use a small piece of adhesive tape to slowly remove the film. Lastly, spray the object of a super gross coating to protect the decal. Number 1 tip. Put all the screws, nuts, circuits, and magnets to a divided container. After that, you put a label on each of them. By the way, my name is KR. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Please like and subscribe my channel for more tips and tricks on how to build a mechanical kit. Before you build this beautiful, sophisticated model kit, you need to prepare the right of to make your work easy. Here are the tools that I am using right now. Number one, ultrasonic cutter. I noticed that this kit has a lot of thick runners. It is not really advisable to use a nipper to cut it because it's so thick it will just break your nipper. However, you need to use the electronic cutter to make your work fast and easy and also it will not leave you a stress mark. Number two, gun hand nipper. You can use this to remove the knob from the parts. Number three, razor knob remover. It's useful when making sure that there is no stretch marks on your parts. Balance polisher, a tool that you can make your parts shiny, especially on the area when removing knob. Number five, small drill. I experienced that there's a part that I need to connect and it won't be on feet, so I need to file using the small drill so that they will get together. Number six, cement. Reinforce building the parts. Number seven, super glue. This is very useful, especially on the photo edge. They are really loose. They are not connecting to the parts. You need to put the super glue to make sure that they are going to stick to the part. It tweezers for all the small parts and when you are working on the wires. Brush to make sure that your parts is clean and you can easily remove the dirt and dust and workstation. This is very useful for you to have proper lighting on working this kit. 11. Part separator. Sometimes there are spaces on the parts so you just need to use a separator to detach the part and make sure that you don't miss anything. Number 12. Screwdriver. This is very common to use in the screws and nuts. It is a must to follow the instruction manual, especially when it comes to wires. So if you are working with the circuits, make sure that you are putting it on the right position. When it comes to the circuits, it's only plug and play, so it's very easy. The model stand is so fragile. Make sure that you handle it with care and you position your hand to the area that has a good foundation. All I can say is that you enjoy the process of building this wonderful space dockyard stand. Continue learning, you will see that it looks amazing once you finish it. Those are my tips and tricks in building this mechanic core cake tip former expedition 172 scale premium version i hope you learned something today about this video thank you for watching guys have a great day bye